Hello, my name is Paul and welcome back to another one of my Pipedrive training videos. In this video, I want to discuss how Pipedrive compares to other sales CRMs. Now, this video is really intended for people who are new to Pipedrive, or maybe you're still shopping around deciding which CRM to go with. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking on behalf of Pipedrive to share what I think are the main advantages and features that I think are unique to Pipedrive that make it special. Now, if you've never seen one of my videos before, you don't know who I am. My name is Paul. I'm one of Pipedrive's premier partners, and I help businesses to set up and optimize Pipedrive for their business and uh, link it with the other tools and systems that they use. I've been using Pipedrive since 2015. I have limited experience with other tools. I've used HubSpot a little bit, um, Salesforce a little bit a while ago, but Pipedrive is my day to day. So feel free to take whatever I say with a grain of salt. Obviously I'm a little bit biased. I think Pipedrive is the best, but uh, yeah, I do wanna try and be useful in terms of explaining what I think makes Pipedrive unique. If you have any questions, please feel free to post those in the comments below. And if you do want one-on-one -on -one help with Pipedrive, if you choose to use this in your business, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my consulting options. So Pipedrive as a company has been around since 2010. Their headquarters are in Estonia, but they actually have offices all around the world now in different time zones. So they're providing sales and customer support service in, uh, in, most, uh, in every time zone, in fact. Very good team. The support is top notch. I mean, that's always an important factor. Whenever I've had issues with Pipedrive and with my account or for my clients, I'm always able to get quick responses via the chat and so their team are absolutely fantastic. It's also a well-funded company and they have a good rate of development. They come out with new features pretty often, which is really nice to see. It's nice to be using a CRM that's constantly improving, constantly getting better and better and more capable. Now I would say the thing that sets Pipedrive apart from its competitors, and this might sound cliche, is that it is very simple and easy to use. And if you don't believe me, or if you want to put this to the test, then all I would say is sign up to Pipedrive, give it a trial, and uh, you'll see exactly what I mean. Uh, to give you a bit of history, Pipedrive was designed, uh, its founders were salespeople that had used other CRMs, and they found that these other CRMs they used were always uh, prioritized the managers, and they put emphasis on reporting. They kind of forgot about the actual salesperson who really has to spend the most time using it. So when they design Pipedrive, they try to make it a tool that's very easy to use and makes it easy for the salesperson to track what they're doing, take good notes, and really plan their follow-up so that they can close more sales. And I think Pipedrive does that extremely well. How it does that is with a heavy emphasis on activities. So here I am inside my demo account. And if I click on one of these deals, you can see here I've got all the information about this deal in front of me. So uh, the value of the sale, who I'm selling to and the company. I've got my details on the left-hand side that I can fill in when I, when I collect information. And in the middle, I've got my timeline where I can plan the activities that I need to do in terms of when I need to follow up. And I've got a complete history of previous activities, emails that I've sent, notes as well. So when I go to a deal, I've got everything that I need in one place and I can get a really clear sense of where this deal is at and what I need to do next to move the deal forwards. One of the other advantages of a tool like Pipedrive is that it's very easy to customize as well. For the sales manager or the admin on your team, if that's you, it's very easy to customize it for your liking. So going back here, I can design this pipeline here with the stages that I choose. I can customize in here the probability of winning a deal at each stage and whether deals begin to rot after a certain number of days. If I click into my deal, all these fields on the left, so deal fields, contact fields, and organization fields, this is all customizable simply by coming to these customize options. I can edit any of these fields or add a new field right from the deal screen. I don't have to, I mean, I can, but I don't have to go into my settings to edit these fields. I could do it right from the deal screen, which I've actually come to think of it, I don't think I've seen that in other CRMs. And I was talking to a client just the other day who I was helping to switch from Salesforce to Pipedrive. And I think he was telling me that simply editing a little bit of information um, on a deal like this required massive amounts of development. Um, he was using Salesforce. And uh, as you can see in Pipedrive, it's very quick and easy to customize Pipedrive for my sales process to collect the information that I need to gather. 
Pipedrive also has good third-party integration with other tools. So it's got the uh, marketplace apps that I can and I can connect. It's a bit like with the iPhone and the App Store. So in this case, Pipedrive is like the iPhone, and I can install apps into my Pipedrive account. So I've got here Formstack, Pandadoc, PySync, Toki, Zapier, all connected. And I can go to the marketplace here if I want to browse the apps that um, Pipedrive supports. I've got loads of apps here like Xero, um, Zoom meetings, Microsoft Teams that I can connect to my account. So Pipedrive really can become the hub for my sales team that all my other tools kind of connect out from. Pipedrive also has really good integration with Zapier. And I would say like, obviously that's not a big advantage. A lot of CRMs now, a lot of tools have, you know, third party integration like this. They have connections with Zapier, but not every integration with Zapier is always done well. And my uh, colleague and I, we do a lot of custom development for teams using Pipedrive and we, we connect Pipedrive to their other systems. And having spent quite a lot of time using Zapier, the Pipedrive integration is done really well. Sometimes the Zapier integration with apps is uh, often feels like it's been a bit rushed or the information that we need is not available or what, we, what we're trying to do isn't possible. But Pipedrive have definitely put some real nice uh, attention into their Zapier integration, which means we have a lot of options when it comes to connecting Pipedrive with other tools and systems. Another thing that I really like about Pipedrive is the reporting, which is again, really easy to use. I was using HubSpot with a client last year and I just personally found the reporting interface quite tricky, quite cumbersome to use and just, just creating some simple reports like showing my revenue for the month or showing activities that we'd completed was really hard to do and it, we, could, we figured it out, but it required a lot of clicks to be able to do that. In Pipedrive, setting up a report is really easy. In fact, they have a um, kind of step-by-step -step guide that helps you. So if I'm creating a deal report, I select my report type, whether it's a performance or a conversion report, and it guides me through setting it up. I can change my X and my Y axis, and the interface to customize my reports is really simple. We also have in here goal planning as well. If I want to track goals for each individual salesperson, um, that again, super quick and easy to set up. And as you'll see, the, the reporting interface is really pleasing. Um, yeah, it's just nice, nice and well designed. In terms of pricing, you can start with the essential plan for $12.50 per month per user. And that I think is extremely generous for a very powerful uh, and very easy to use CRM. And that's gonna come with all the essentials that you, you need, like deal management, customizing your pipelines, um, importing data, managing your activities, and all that kind of thing. Most people go on to either the advanced or the professional plan. Advanced gives you the ability to connect your email, to sync uh, your email with Pipedrive. It's also gonna let you do things like automation uh, and it's gonna come with a bunch of other features as well. And then a lot of people are now going on to professional because again, it's still very affordable. I think at $50 per user um, for a CRM that again is very powerful. You're getting uh, with the professional things like a calling integration, you're getting um, team management, more advanced reporting, required fields, and a bunch of other features that really help you to take Pipedrive to that next level. In terms of how this compares to other tools, um, things like Salesforce are, you know, traditionally have been a lot more expensive um, for a CRM that I think isn't as easy to use and is much harder to customize. HubSpot is actually a suite of products, but their sales hub, you know, similar sort of pricing, you're looking at 45 per month, um, build annually for you know your deal pipeline, simple automation and things like that, but their professional and enterprise does get quite a lot more expensive. Now, to be fair, HubSpot does come with other features that aren't currently in Pipedrive, like you can connect it to your marketing service if you use HubSpot for email marketing. We currently don't have that in Pipedrive, but as of recording this video, Pipedrive is in the process of coming out with campaigns and email automation, which is on the shorter sort of medium term roadmap. So that is coming out very soon. And so that is a little look at Pipedrive and my thoughts on how I think it is unique. But my big takeaway for you would be, if you're considering Pipedrive, sign up for the trial and give it a go. And you'll see what I said at the start, which is that it really is the easiest to use and uh, easiest to customize compared to other CRMs. If you have questions about what it can do, the best way to set it up, definitely leave me a comment below or reach out to me if you want some help with one-on-one -on -one consulting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.